How are you all? No, Julian here. Welcome to episode 10 of Take Zero's Garage. Today I'm feeling a little bit of deja vu because I'm actually revisiting episode 5 and that was where I attempted to solve the slow running wipers in my office spider. Now if you remember from that episode I hit a bit of a stumbling block because when it came to the actual wiper motor itself I couldn't crack it open. And that was because the screws holding on the mounting bracket were actually stuck solid and I didn't have an impact screwdriver. So yesterday I took my wiper motor down to my local garage. Uh, I, I assumed that they would have an impact screwdriver, and of course they did, and they were able to crack the screws for me for free, which was great, thanks guys. And uh, I was then able to take the wiper motor home and actually open it for the first time to get a closer look, see what's happening on the inside. And much to my surprise, the actual grease in the main gear area was actually still pretty soft and uh, hadn't solidified, so I was kind of thinking to myself, oh, okay, something else is definitely going on here. So a bit more exploratory work and I actually pulled the motor apart and basically the top section comes off which holds the bushes and the gears and then you, you expose the shaft which is where the armature and the coils and all the copper bits basically go into the main body of the wiper motor and which is held inside by a magnet and when I pulled that out I noticed on the armature there was quite a few flat spots. Now I'm no magnetics expert but when a motor's spinning in the magnetic field it has to be perfectly balanced because obviously if you get any rubbing taking place it's not going to be very efficient. So something is definitely worn inside my wiper motor. Uh, it could be a bearing at either end, I'm not sure. It's possibly the actual bearing in the bottom of the body itself and that basically means the wiper motor needs to be refurbished and I put in a couple of calls found a few places that actually do refurbish these motors and the prices were 200 quid plus VAT so yeah a little bit steep um, so I called the guys at Classic Alpha they said they had a wiper motor for my S3 Spider and it cost me about 110 quid that's arrived today and I've got it on the bench ready to go and fingers crossed with my brand new motor I'm gonna actually get my wipers working properly so, let's see how it goes. And yep, sure enough, disaster struck. As I was putting the scuttle panel back on the car, the one thing that I feared would happen did happen, and that was the washer jet splitter actually broke. It snapped off on the pipe. Uh, really frustrating, but at the end of the day, it's probably the original part that was fitted on the car. And so I've decided to replace the pipes and the splitter with new parts because it's all very old very hard and very brittle and there's little point in putting all that stuff back in and bodging it. So I've got all those new parts and obviously I had to wait a couple of days for those bits to arrive so I had to literally stop filming. Parts are here, I'm going to fit those and then eventually I'll get the wipers back on. So oh, everything's back on the car, got scuttle panel back on, wiper arms, I've also fitted some new wiper blades because I figured, you know, I'm here, I might as well renew the wiper blades because I think the old ones on it were actually pretty tired. So the only thing left to do is actually test and see if this has worked. Well that's the fast setting, which as you can see started very quickly, but it is running a bit slow. So. Lubricating the screen. Yeah, it seems to be okay. Of course. Test the washers. They're working, which is good. It's still not as fast as I would like, to be honest. But it's definitely quicker than what it was. Let's put it on the slowest intermediate setting. Simulate some rain. Yeah, it's definitely faster. Not a huge amount, but yeah. No, there we go. It doesn't like when the screen is a bit dry. So I think the next step after this is to put some rain X on here or something like that to, you know help keep the screen slippery. 
So that's it for episode 10 of Six Rose Garage. I'm really happy that I finally sorted the wipers out. I would like them to be a lot faster, but I think I'm just gonna have to accept the fact that, you know, that's what alphas do. Old alphas, slow wipers. Yeah, they go hand in hand. Um, I am pleased I have replaced the motor because the old one definitely was on its way out. That damaged the armature, wasn't good, and that wiper motor was gonna fail at some point. So it's peace of mind now that I've replaced it with a new one. And that's another job ticked off the list on this alpha. So moving on, the next job to do is to actually service the car. And I've got all the bits and pieces I need to do it. And I've also picked up a cool little tool actually to help change the oil. And hopefully it'll reduce the amount of mess that's usually associated with changing oil in the car. So I can't wait to try that out. So that's it for this episode of Take Your Garage. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget I'm on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. It would be great. And if you really like these films that I'm making, and you'd like to become a patron of Take the Road, head on over to the Patreon page and if you could donate like 50p, 50 cents, a dollar, anything at all just to help me with the cost of making these films, that would be so cool. And yeah, so that's it for this episode. Stay tuned for the next one and don't forget, just go drive. See you soon. Adios. Mm -hmm.